All right, John Carl reporting in. And while the Republicans battle it out, the president made a big move to win votes in November, today unveiling a plan to bring American jobs back to U.S. soil, proposing lowering the tax rate for corporations in America from 35% to 28%, even lower for some U.S. companies that manufacture goods here at home, all designed to make America more competitive in the world. And ABC's David Muir and the Made in America team say... There are signs the tide is finally turning, David. Real signs, Diane, tonight. As you know, long before this newest plan to bring jobs home, we've been reporting on Made in America for a year now, so often showing those factories in China with what used to be American jobs. Tonight, check out this first image here, a role reversal. Take a close look at this empty factory because it's the exact opposite of what we've come to expect. This time, the empty factory is in Shenzhen, China, and the American company that once employed Chinese workers here now packing up, as the boxes say, going home. Nameplate, coming down. The CEO is convinced it will be cheaper, not in China, but back in America. And we were there in Houston, Texas this week, pulling in before the paint even dried at the new American factory, where they'll soon make LED light bulbs. Already inside, close to 100 Americans waiting for these jobs to come home. We look forward to interviewing each and every one of you and putting you to work. All right. How many of you in the room today have been looking for a job for a year or more? They came to be interviewed for the job, but they were also the ones asking questions. Darnell Reed, an out-of-work dad, asked what we were going to ask. Why leave China? How does it make economic sense to bring those... Manufacturing jobs from China. That's a great question. That's a great question, he said, and the answer that developing middle class in China. The same middle class world news met there, now quickly demanding higher wages. A decade ago, a factory worker, 58 cents an hour. Today, more than $3. Predictions of $6 an hour around the corner. But even $6 an hour is a lot cheaper than what you'd have to pay here. Yes, but David, you have to factor in one other thing. The average U.S. worker is 3.4 times as productive as the average Chinese worker. More productive. Absolutely. And for that CEO making those new light bulbs, it was as though a light bulb went off for him, too. I've gotten in arguments with CEOs on planes telling me what an idiot I am. For coming back? For coming back. But no argument here. I, I am a Detroit fan. More evidence of jobs coming home right off this elevator on the 21st floor of an empty skyscraper in Detroit. So you were looking all over the world, all over this country, to find the next location for your company? Absolutely. In fact, take a look at this. This is going to be their newest office space. We're standing inside a vacant building, downtown Detroit. It's been empty for nearly a decade or more. And when we look around the room, we see an old conference table in the corner, signs of a, a failed business years ago. But they see something else. Inexpensive real estate for their growing IT firm, connecting patients' electronic medical records across America. Now much closer to their American clients, and their workers in Bangalore, India. And Bangalore's on the line. Yes. Exactly. On this day, their new workers on the line with one of their IT specialists in Bangalore, Kishore. How are you? <laughs> Kishore makes $20,000 a year. Ron, with the same job here, can make anywhere from 40000 to sixty. Factor in the other costs, the CEO says, and it still makes sense. Which is exactly what we heard at that new light bulb factory in Houston. Where tonight those eager workers and their resumes are waiting. Great. Well, John, good luck. Hey, thank you so much. We're pulling for John. 125 factory workers will be hired to make those new light bulbs. Another 125 to sell them around the country. And something else we discovered, Diane, coming up tomorrow night here. All those call centers, mm -hmm. when we hear a foreign voice somewhere yes, around yes. the world, we've all made that call before. Some eye-opening numbers about where those jobs are headed next, probably right down the street. Oh, no kidding. Well, it bears repeating. The American worker is three to four times more productive than the Chinese worker. Okay, thank you, David. And we want